Pierre in San Antonio, Texas writes to me, I hope my question finally gets a video from you, Paul. Here you are, sir. I recently noticed that the Rotel RB1582 MK2 power amplifier that I own has a gain of only 22.5 dB when using the XLR inputs. I checked the gain of the Rotel single-ended inputs and it is higher, 26.5 dB. And I started scratching my head and wondering why would Rotel make the gain via the XLRs lower than the single-ended one? Well, there's a very simple reason that they did that. And it's not a bad idea. A XLR signal is 6 dB louder than a single-ended input. And the reason for that is because we have two signals, each out of phase with each other, in the XLR version, and only one and ground in the RCA version, okay? So balanced has one signal that is going up, and at the same time, the second signal, which is identical except it's out of phase, is going down. And when you measure between the one going up and the one going down, you get twice the voltage. So they go like this, up and down, up and down. That's a balanced circuit. And you're going to get 60 dB more gain or double the voltage. So what they have done is said, we kind of want to make sure that whatever you plug in, whether it's an XLR or an RCA, is going to sound at the same loudness level that one versus the other. So you won't know the difference between the two. We don't do that, but it's not a bad idea. But that's why they do it. So, yeah, just as a reminder, XLR, two signals, each out of phase or out of polarity, 180 degrees out, and RCA is a single uh, input that is half the volume, if you will, or half the voltage, not really half the volume, but half the volt. Well, I guess it's half the voltage, half the volume. I don't know, but anyway, that's what's going on, and that's what they did to it. So, yeah, makes good sense. All right. <laughs> Hope that helped. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>